COVID-19 virus is going to bone us because this lady is in charge of people that have been exposed to the corona virus in China and she has something really really interesting to say I want to make the note we're talking February 13th 2020 let's uh let's uh, let's take this in let's take this in as long as someone is healthy and not having a temperature or exhibiting symptoms, they are not at risk for transmitting that virus to their loved ones. So while they may be at home, their loved ones are not restricted for their movements. We know that so they are letting the, the loved ones, the family members of the people under quarantine, visit the family members so long as they're not manifesting symptoms. And then go back out into the community. That's what. Now listen to the confidence with which she said this. Just, just take this. As in long here. as someone is healthy and not having a temperature or exhibiting symptoms, they are not at risk for transmitting that virus to their loved ones. So while they may be at home, their loved ones are not restricted for their movements. We know that you cannot be. Yeah. Mm hmm. I just want you to take that in. We're going to move on. Look at this. Now, this is from NPR. It's February 5th, 2020 from NPR. Does the new coronavirus spread silently? Now, this is February 5th. Remember, I'm making this video on February 13th. That video that I'm responding to is February 13th. February 5th. His study found the coronavirus in the nasal passages of people who didn't report any symptoms. And it's going to leak out as they're speaking and breathing and coughing and sneezing and wiping their nose, Shaman said. Whether it's a sufficient quantity to make somebody else infectious, we can't discern that from what we've done. In other words, I mean, you know, people sneeze. You don't always sneeze, cough, and we, we sneeze, cough, and wipe our noses all the time. We won't be manifesting symptoms. I've sneezed, coughed, and wiped my nose at least 30 times in the last three seconds. I didn't even notice it because I'm so used to doing it. I'm like a freaking ninja. We're going to move on, though, because, you know, put a little humor into our sad state of affairs. We're going to move on to <coughs> February 11th, 2020. This is from Medrick Sive, the novel. Coronavirus 2019 and CO whatever is highly contagious and more infectious than initially estimated. Now, here's the, the, the quote here. We further show that quarantine and contact tracing of symptomatic individuals alone may not be effective and early. Strong control measures are needed to stop transmission of the virus so that's what we knew february 11th and then we're gonna go back to this uh dindle schnoss go ahead dindle schnoss is healthy and not having a temperature or exhibiting symptoms they are not at risk for transmitting that virus to their loved ones so while they may be at home their loved ones are not restricted for their movements we know that you cannot As long as again. someone is healthy and just not do. having a temperature or exhibiting symptoms, they are just not do. at risk for transmitting just that virus to their loved ones. So while they may be at home, their loved ones are not restricted for their movements. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just want to do this one more time. Just, as long just as someone is healthy more. and not having a temperature or exhibiting symptoms, there you go. they are not at risk for transmitting that virus to their loved ones. So while they may be at home, their loved mm -hmm. ones are not restricted for their movements. So there you have it. So everybody, have fun. Seriously. Stock up on cough uh, supplies, anything. Uh, maybe some sort of a steaming thing. Uh, you can use steaming if you if family members are been, you know get into that state where they can't breathe. Uh, do the best that you can because uh, we're not ready for this.